and booze, okay? Yeah, I remember uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt talk, uh, uh, studying about the Rough Riders at that time and whatnot. And they said Teddy Roosevelt had some of the greatest looking boots and whatnot. Nobody couldn't even wear his kind of boots and things like that. But the one that's coming, John emphasized that his boots, hallelujah, or his shoes, hallelujah, you're not even worthy to bear. You're not even worthy to put on. Why? Because you didn't do this kind of sacrifice. You didn't come where he come from. Okay? He left this throne in glory. Hallelujah. To bring to us redemption story. You're not worthy to put on him. Okay? The son of God. The firstborn. The second Adam. Hallelujah. You're not worthy to wear his boots. Okay? Because the sacrifice that he's about to make to redeem man back to God. Right. Praise the name of Jesus. You're not worthy to wear his boots. Hallelujah. Right. Why? Because he shall come to baptize you. Hallelujah. To submerge you. Hallelujah. With the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Now the Holy Ghost was not in the world at that time, but the Holy Ghost was in him. Why? Because God was in him. Hallelujah. Because if you go to 1 John 5 and 7, he said he bears record of himself, talking about what that there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. And then he said that these three are one. And then he turned around and what that, and brought it right down to earth on the 28th chapter, 28th verse, where he says, There are three that bear record in the earth. Hallelujah. The spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree yes. as one. Hallelujah to God. So the Holy Ghost was with Jesus in the form of God. But not in the Son of Man. Oh, you better come on now. Hallelujah. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now the Holy Ghost representation sometimes is like water. Okay? You have to understand that water is a flowing thing. Okay? Water has minerals in it. I tell people wherever I go, you need to drink more water. You know why? Now, if water has, if water is so precious to man and whatnot, because man uses it to make fuel, man uses it, I say back in the early 20s or 30s, in the railroads, what did they use? They used water that made steam that took railroads from Los Angeles to New York. Oh, you don't want to hear me on today. Hallelujah. When they want to hydrate a person, keep them dehydrating them. They don't give them no fruit juice. They give them water. Hallelujah. Because water purifies. Water mixes with anything. It can make anything flow. Hallelujah. So the Holy Ghost when you're baptized in the Holy Ghost, when you're baptized in the water of the Holy Ghost, you're baptized in the dew of heaven. Hallelujah. You're baptized in the knowledge of Christ and in the wisdom of Christ and all that kind of thing. Now, what we're talking about when we say, when he says, and the fire. Well, the fire is the evidence, the forwarding, moving evidence of what you was baptized with. Hallelujah. The, the, they used to tell me a long time ago, Mother Burns, that you know what? If you have the Holy Ghost, you ought to show some sign. Right. Okay? You ought to show some evidence. Yes. It's fine, well, and good that we in this holy house, this holy sanctuary at Mount Calvary here on today, and we got on our Sunday best and smelling good and looking good and all that kind of thing, stuff like that. But how about when they say you don't have no more job? How about when they say, you know, we're going to forfeit on your home. We're going to come and confiscate your car. We're going to come and deal with uh, the things that, 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 that's going on with you in a negative way. The IRS have called you and said, we found that you owe a certain amount of dollars and we want the money right now. And well, now where is your Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is within the fire. Hallelujah. The forwarding mechanism. Now, the only way that fire can take place is the fire has to be close to the situation that you're going through. Hallelujah. Have you ever noticed how fire behaves and whatnot? Fire stays in one place. 
okay? If it's not around anything else, and what that, you know, when they contain those forest fires, you know what they do? They surround the fire with a chemical so it won't get to the other uh, areas and things like that. But if you leave fire by itself, and what that, that fire will eventually burn, 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 and get to everything and it'll destroy and things of that nature. But this is what the Holy Ghost fire does, hallelujah, within you. The Holy Ghost fire, when you use it, and, what that, and say in the name of Jesus, I bind that spirit in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I do not accept this sickness. In the name of Jesus, I do not accept this poverty. In the name of Jesus, say it and loose your heart. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you just ignited the fire of the Holy Ghost. That's why the Bible says, whatsoever things ye shall say, whatsoever things ye shall say, we have to be careful what we do with our tongue. Okay? Let alone, we have to be careful what we do with our mind. Because if we say a negative thing to our mind, then our tongue is going to repeat it. And once you repeat it, you have created that thing. I tell people wherever I go, stop telling folk that I got a headache. Stop telling folk that I got a fever. Stop telling folk that I think I'm sick. I'm coming down with a disease. You know why? Because when you do that, you prevent the Holy Ghost fire from having a right away of healing you. Right. You have to be very careful about that. Don't you know, and I'm saying this to somebody on Facebook today, don't you know that when you do that, you call every spirit that is associated with that sickness. Most of these people that have so-called mind brain headaches, it started out with a little something that was going on. And guess what? They kept on uh, confessing it. Oh, I think I got a headache. I think I got a headache. I think I got a headache. You just, you just opened the door for these devils and whatnot. So therefore, the fire of the Holy Ghost can't have no right away and kick it out and whatnot. But here, when the headache comes, we're not denying that it doesn't happen. But when the headache comes, when the heartache comes, when the ache comes, God gave you the power to become the sons of God through your confession, and that is the fire of the Holy Ghost. What, did, what happened, my brothers and sisters, when Jesus died? You want to know what happened? After Jesus died and said, Father, into thy hands, I commend my spirit. The earth vibrated an earthquake. The earth went through a convulsion. The earth went through changes. The firmament started going through changes and all that kind of thing. Here it is almost a little bit after noon time, around about 3 o'clock and all that kind of thing. And here the earth is going like through night, like a hurricane and tsunami and all that kind of thing. Going on all because one man died. You know why? Because the fire of the Holy Ghost was yet with him. Because he went down into hell and was preaching down in the grave for three days and nights. So therefore the earth and the atmosphere could not take it, my brothers and sisters. You have to have the fire of the Holy Ghost. But if you want to be raised with Jesus, you have to have the fire of the Holy Ghost if you want to keep yourself healed and saved and delivered and set free. You have to have the fire to rebuke the devil out of your life and, what that, and claim prosperity. You have to have the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Unless you have the fire of the Holy Ghost, I'm going to tell you right to your face, the Holy Ghost is useless. You just have something that is, that's, that's within you. Oh, I got the Holy Ghost. I got the Holy Ghost. That's like Bruce Lee saying, I know karate. I know karate. And he never do it. Okay? That's like a pilot saying, I know how to fly a plane. And he never fly it. All right? That's like a man saying, that's like a father saying, I'm a father and he has no babies to prove it. No children to prove it. It's just that senseless. It just doesn't make no sense. All right? You have to ignite the action of the fire that is within you. What did he say in his word? And I'm coming to a close. Greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. So if the same spirit that was that is and with Jesus is inside of you, then what's wrong with you? Why are you accepting poverty? Why are you accepting lack? When he already said that the one that is coming will baptize you baptize you, not to sprinkle you with water, not 
that would give you a little hint. That would give you a couple of dollars in your pocket and all that kind of thing so you could buy some grits and eggs. No, he'll baptize you so that he will show you things. He will reveal to you things. Now, what's the job you have to do? It's up to you to confess it. It's up to you to say that I am the righteousness of God. I am holy. I am redeemed. I am saved. I am delivered. And I am set free. Why? Because I confess the fire that is within me. Sometimes I'll come here to this church. And whatnot. And y'all don't see it. I'm just as tired. And I'm just as weak. And I'm just as feeble. And whatnot. I give y'all a good uh, a faith and all that kind of thing. How y'all doing? Oh, I'm doing this fine. Praise the Lord. Things like that. And whatnot. You know what I'm doing? I'm talking to you, but I'm also talking to the Spirit. Okay? And I'm talking in the Spirit. Because I realize the fire of the Holy Ghost. Just before we walked in, me and Apostle witnessed a young lady, or whoever it was, and we like going through convulsion and changes. And I thought about the man or the men that was in the grave. Hallelujah. All right? That came to Jesus. Okay? Once I looked at her, once I looked at her, she silenced down, didn't she not? Yeah. All right? She was kicking her suitcase and call, saying all kinds of things and, and this and all that kind of thing and whatnot. But the fire of the Holy Ghost oh, took God. over just before I walked in here. Oh, okay? God. Why? Because it is activated when you have to use it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. To God. You have to use it when the, the, when the enemy is trying to attack you. All right, when these dogs are barking at you, when you ride in the subway and, and you th and you threaten, your life is threatened. What? Now the cops are not everywhere, but the Holy Ghost is everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You have to know when to use this fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What? That? I, 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 matter of fact, I was just about to tell the young lady to come on in the church. All right. You know why? Because the fire of the Holy Ghost activates more in his sanctuary, all right? This is where we meet together. Yes, he's within you, but when we meet together, you're talking about the fire of the Holy Ghost. Here, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, all over this place. And you can't tell me, you can't tell me God cannot heal and deliver. And what not? When the, when the lunatic man came to Jesus, what the first thing he do? He worshiped Jesus, okay? He was so strong, they said, that no man could beat him. And what that no man could fight him. No man could wrestle him. But when he saw Jesus, he ran to Jesus and worshiped him. You know why? Because the fire of God that was within him, the delivering power of Jesus, the water of salvation. All right? Hell's dread and heaven's wonder showed up. Hallelujah. And he worshiped him and God healed him. Well, now, there's even further in the scripture where he went home and they found him having dinner with his family. All of a sudden, the Lord say, bless the name of the power of Jesus. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's the power of God unto salvation. Wherever you go, my brothers and sisters, ignite the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is that they say in the street is full of fire. Hallelujah. Wherever it goes, it's going to burn sin. It's going to burn disease. It's going to burn doubt. It's going to burn fear. What now? Yea, though I walk, David said, through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art Thou rod and thy staff, and they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. I don't need your advice. I don't need your supervision to be up here. Thou anointest. All in the shut number four say out. Thou anointest my head with oil in my cup. Hallelujah. Talk about me all you please. But my cup running over. Surely he said. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Hallelujah. Why? Because the fire is within. And I shall dwell. I shall dwell. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. The one that came down and baptized me with the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues 
as the Spirit of God give utterance. Hallelujah! I don't mind speaking in tongues. Hallelujah! Because it confuses the enemy, Apostle. I don't mind doing the language of God because the enemy don't understand that. God has his own language. Hallelujah! Ain't that something? He gave out many languages, but he got his own language. Hallelujah! And when we speak in the unknown tongue, we speak in front of the God, okay? We have, we have to understand that it's a defense, that it is a lineup that is better than any can, hallelujah, can, can cure any disease, hallelujah. Didn't the, didn't, the, didn't the prophet say, is there anything too hard for God? That's the question. Is there anything too hard for God? Why? Because if you baptize with the Holy Ghost, you have to understand you baptize with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And with fire, he said. Hallelujah. And we have to believe this. We have to trust in this. We have to rely on this. We have to depend on this. Hallelujah. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, we have already come. But it is God's grace. Hallelujah. That brought us safe thus far. Safe, my brother. From the cutthroat, saved from the bullets, saved from COVID, saved from sickness and disease, saved from those that don't like me and don't want me, that don't want to even speak to me, that want to forsake me, but yet he keep us saved. Hallelujah. I hear him in the 91st Psalm that said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the what? Under the shadow. Of the Almighty. Hallelujah. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge. That's why I'm here this afternoon. Hallelujah. I'm not here for your offering or your good look. And what that. But I say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him. Will I put my trust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to go there. Surely he shall deliver me. <laughs> from the stare of the fowler. And from the noise of pestilence. That walketh the COVID, that walketh in noonday. Hallelujah. A thousand shall fall. This is when you ignite the fire. A thousand shall fall at thy right side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. For why? For he has given his angels charge. Hallelujah. They can't even go back to heaven because they in charge of you. Hallelujah. When? Since, since, since the development of you. Hallelujah. Yeah. The angels are watching over you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for the word of God on today. Hallelujah. Talking about the benefits of the fire of the Holy Ghost. I admonish you here today at Mount Calvary, and I admonish all of you in Facebook. To use it. Hallelujah. The reason why we use Facebook, mother, because the Bible said, go ye into all the world. Go ye into all the world and preach this gospel unto every creature. Now, even though we're here at Farmers Boulevard in Queens, New York, well, now, this is going out way, apostles. All over the country. All over the country. All over the country. Can you imagine, as I come to a close, can you imagine if everybody had the power of the Holy Ghost, yes. there wouldn't be no crime. Right now. Huh? Yes. If everybody had the love of Jesus within their heart, yes. there wouldn't be no trouble. Yes. Okay? I told somebody that had a connection with the mayor. You know what? It just so happened the young lady had a connection with a man. She's a very close friend. Got his phone number and everything. Yeah. And what? Now, I told her as a minister. I didn't talk with the political. I told her as a minister. I said, you know what? Tell the mayor, beside of everything else that he's doing, and what? Now, to allow the churches to have a discount on electricity to come in and have prayer. All right. Yeah. Because the Bible says, if my people, yes. it didn't talk about the sin. It said, if my people, my if William Gilmore, Bishop Dillon, if yes. Mother Mother Burns, and Sister back there, an apostle, 
which are called by my name. Yes. See, those people are not called by their name. Right. They're called by my name. Yes. Will humble yes. themselves yes. and pray. Yes. We need more prayer yes. than the gospel program. Well. Hallelujah. We need more prayer, okay, than anniversaries and birthday celebrations. We need more prayer going on. The problem is that the reason why COVID is here and murders every day going on is because the saints are not praying.